Hi Bratz Party Pack, welcome or welcome back to my channel where we like to talk all things Bratz, MGA Entertainment, and so much more. Today's video, I honestly had something else planned, a Jade unboxing, which will be out next after this one, but I am declaring this a Bratz state of emergency. This is a not a drill. We need to talk about these Bratz Rock Angels re-release dolls. I just want to know who's responsible because this is ridiculous. So for a while now, Bratz have been hinting and a possible re-release of the Bratz Rock Angels iconic line and honestly when I saw this I was so excited. I'm a new Bratz doll collector you guys may or may not know this if you're new to my channel and after seeing the quality of the Bratz 20th anniversary line I was super excited and hopeful to see what else was in store for the Bratz and like the Bratz Rock Angels line is one of my favorites right up there with Fashion Pixies so I knew I was gonna participate with this next launch and buy whatever the Bratz was giving and it wasn't until a few weeks ago we were going to see our first look into what the dolls were going to actually look like. Now, honestly, when I saw the pictures for the first time, I thought it was a joke due to the obvious quality control issues that the dolls had in the images. And I wanted to give them the benefit of the doubt and just wait it out a few days to see if those were factory rejects or just something else, anything else than what we got. But after today, I can confirm that these are what the dolls are gonna look like. And honestly, I'm scared. So right off the bat, the first thing that I noticed was the facial screenings and how they didn't align properly with the actual mold of the doll heads which gave the dolls a more cross-eyed appearance and I also noticed how Sasha was done a little bit more dirty than the other girls. I mean just look at this face. I don't really know <laughs> what to say about that. In all fairness, the rest of the dolls don't look half bad, but it's a noticeable difference from Bratz quality and artwork that we've seen in the past. Now look, I know I may sound overly critical here when I say that I don't really think that MGA put much thought into the re-release of the Bratz Rock Angel dolls, but please just follow me for a second. So from my understanding, much like the 20th anniversary dolls, the Bratz Rock Angels re-release is supposed to be replicas of the original dolls. And we can confirm this by reading the dolls product description so essentially, these are supposed to be replicas of what the original dolls look like. And compared to the Bratz 20th anniversary release line, they should look similar, if not the same, from the originals. Taking into account that majority of the Bratz fandom right now are grown up, they're adults, it adds another layer to my confusion of why there wasn't more time and consideration taken into the product's facial screening. For adult collectors, we will notice these differences, and I think that it's important to point that out, and especially when the product description says that these are going to be for fans of the brand who enjoyed them when they were younger so I definitely think that it's more confusing now why they don't look exactly like or at least close to the originals. Now I understand that these are only the product images and no one necessarily has them in their hands right now but I do think that this is important because Bratz Rock Angels was such an iconic line. And I would even go as far as saying that this line put MGA on the map, which makes this re-release even more disappointing because although they have the same clothes on and the same outfits and accessories, the same level of quality doesn't seem to be evident much like the originals based off of the images. The Bratz fandom as a whole has definitely built MGA Entertainment to be able to create other successful product lines like Rainbow High Dolls and LOL surprise dolls. This is actually connected to my theory as to why this product line doesn't look so successful in regards to quality, but we will get back to that in a second. I think that more time could have gone into the process of manufacturing and assembling the facial screening of these dolls, being that the Bratz were such a big portion of MGA's success. I do think that if they were gonna make differences, let it be minor and small changes like with the 20th anniversary release dolls. So let's talk theories. I think that much attention wasn't given to the Bratz Rock Angels re-release due to 
to their other very successful lines like Rainbow High and LOL Surprise. Like I mentioned earlier, Bratz have not made the MGA Entertainment franchise much money in the recent years due to their lessening in manufacturing of the dolls and decreasing in popularity. As of now, it's a resurgence of the brand. People are flocking towards Bratz. Based off of the community response of the Bratz re-release of the Rock Angels, it's been quite mixed. I've seen people be extremely excited for the relaunch and just excited to see the girls back on the shelves and back in action like they have been in the past. And rightfully so, I can definitely agree to their sentiment and their excitement. I was as well. So much so that I completely stopped purchasing any other Bratz lines that I was collecting at the moment just to prepare for the launch because I didn't know the price point. I didn't know if I wanted to complete the entire line, if I just wanted to get one doll. So when I saw these images leak, I was definitely at a crossroads. Many people shared my same opinion with what I shared with you today with the lack of quality that the facial screenings had. Overall, I could definitely say I'm pretty disappointed and a little bit confused at the same time because I don't really know if I will be purchasing. But I'm curious to know what are your thoughts in the comments below? Do you agree? Are the Bratz Rock Angels re-release a hit or a miss when it comes to quality? Or is it not that serious? Definitely let me know in the comments below. I definitely want to make these style videos where we chit chat and talk hot topics on quick forms of videos like this. But again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. To show the whole world what we're all about. We're the girls with a passion for fashion.